you know, when we use targeted therapies, one of the things that we are very excited about is being able to inhibit the pathways that usually are the oncogenic drivers that, you know, um, allow tumor growth. But one of the problems with using targeted therapies is how when you inhibit a certain pathway, you can develop circumvent pathways that and develop acquired and emergent resistances. So. To understand this question of how can we mitigate acquired resistance and how can we allow patients to have more durable responses, the idea of combining target therapy with other agents, other class of agents, was actually the idea behind the VEM Plus study. So we decided to compare the Vemurafenib monotherapy arm with Vemurafenib and Paclitaxel and Carboplatin, which, which is a cytotoxic-based regimen. We also combined it with Vemurafenib and Sorafenib, another targeted agent. Vemrafenib and crizotinib, and Vemrafenib and Everolimus, which targets the mTOR pathway. And the idea behind this was many clinical studies did show that if you try to um, inhibit the mTOR pathway along the BRAF pathway, the MAP kinase pathway, or the RAF pathways uh, along with the BRAF pathway, you would possibly be able to you know, improve patient outcomes and also improve your prolonged anti-tumor activity. But the reality is that out of those four phase one trials that looked at those combinations, we had 99 patients. And when we looked at their overall survival and progression-free survival, we did not see any statistical or clinical significance with the combinations when compared to Vemurafen immunotherapy. So it was still, I think the you know, study gives a good light on you know the fact that we still don't understand how target agents and their combinations can potentially synergistically work. In fact, it mitigated more toxicity rather than benefit at this time.